What's up, amigos? It's the Project Maker Minute with yours truly, Chris Lewitt. As you may know, I'm the former number one for Cornell University, pro circuit player, elite junior development coach, and author and educator, author of The Secrets of Spanish Tennis and the Tennis Technique Bible. On this Project Maker Minute, we've been talking about the SIR recently, and I want to continue with an interesting little detail that I picked up from Brad Gilbert and Darren Cahill, two excellent coaches, but I was listening to a podcast with Brad Gilbert, and he talked about the working serve, and uh, quote unquote, the working serve. What is a working serve? And he described it as a serve that is a first serve generally that you can get in pretty much at will, pretty much automatically. So I was thinking back to my career and my favorite serve is probably the hard slice. And I know that if, I, if I'm nervous, if I'm tired, if the sun's in my eye, if it's a windy day, I can get that serve in. That's a really good working serve for me. I can go to work with that serve. It may not get an ace, but it's not very attackable. And it allows me to get a high percentage of first serves in play. And I can start building the point from there on my service games. So I was like, wow, that's a really good way to think about it. You know, Gilbert called it the working serve. I think Brad Gilbert's a genius. So anytime he talks about tactics and psychology, I love listening to him. And I said, that's a really good way to describe it. It's called a working serve. And he said that Darren Cahill also calls it a working serve. Darren Cahill is a very successful professional coach. And I think that's a great way to describe it. So I would ask you guys out there, coaches, parents, players, you know, what is, if you're a player, what is your working serve? And do you have a working serve? Have you developed a serve that you can make in when you're nervous, when you're tired, when you're not at your best, but you know that you got that serve in the bag, you can get it in place pretty well, and you can be on the offensive. It may not be an ace, may not be your biggest serve, but it's a serve that you can go to work with. And I think that's a really important serve to learn, and it's an important serve to practice. That could be a three-quarter pace or 80% flat serve. It could be the hard slice like I have. I have to ask Brad, like, can it be a kick serve? Can your second serve be a working serve? The way he was talking about it, he was thinking more like a first serve that can do some damage. Kick serve, I'm not sure if that can be a working serve. We're going to have to ask Darren or Brad, but for me, it's probably going to be, for my students, it's going to be a hard slice or a three-quarter pace flat and to be determined whether a kick serve can be a working serve. What do you guys think? Can a kick serve be a working serve or does it have to be sort of like a more powerful serve, like a hard slice or, or a more powerful flat serve? Guys, I'm going to talk about the serve in one more video coming up, so stay tuned. We'll talk about what's important on the second serve, but first serve, working serve. If you like this concept, consider listening or watching my big show, The Prodigy Maker Show. It's a podcast and a YouTube show that we've been doing for many years, and I'd love to have you guys in the audience for that. It's available on this YouTube channel and also on all your favorite podcasting platforms. Thanks, guys. I'll see you on the next program.